If you're like most people who play games, you probably have a really sick idea for a game and you want to turn it into a reality. But for some reason, major game companies never respond when you contact them about it. So you're just going to have to make it yourself and get really rich off of it. Uh, so the first step to making a game is to choose a game engine. Or you can make your own if you want to spend five years making something that's shit. Uh, there are plenty of great free game engines out there. Just Google around, see what's out there, and choose one. Okay, uh, great. Now that you've chosen Unity, head over to YouTube and watch some tutorials. I recommend Brackies. He's a good teacher. So I started with. So now you're entering what I call the tutorial phase. You'll just want to watch lots and lots of tutorials and follow along with what they do. You'll experience something called the tutorial polarity, where you swing from being warm and safe in the hands of the tutorial gods to... Wait, what? How did he... He just... And it's done? What? What did he press? How? You ask a lot of really stupid questions like, Hi, great tutorial. Thanks so much for making it. I really learned a lot. However, I'm running into a small issue. I'm getting an error when I try to compile the code. It says I'm missing a semicolon on line 53. How do I fix this? Again, thanks for the great tutorial. You'll ask a lot of questions that could be answered in five seconds by Googling it. You'll get better with this one as time goes on. Uh, this phase will last about two or three months, ending when you start getting away from tutorials and start beginning experimenting on your own with what you've learned. This is where you enter the tinker phase. The tinker phase is characterized by being annoyed at how much tutorials drag on and you start messing around a lot more with different concepts and mechanics that you come up with and trying to learn as much as you can on your own. Your Google searches start getting more concise and about smaller things. Instead of how to make RPG Unity, you'll search for how to save stats Unity. You get really good at Googling during this phase. You'll experience the tinker polarity where you swing from Hey, I'm, I'm getting pretty good at this. I'm starting to get this. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. To, I don't know anything. What What am I doing? How do I get better? Will I ever be as good as the old masters? This phase can last you as little as a couple months to the rest of your life. Lots of wannabe game developers get stuck here because to exit this phase, you have to do the hardest thing as a game developer, which is finishing a game. You'll notice after a while in the tinker phase that you've been constantly jumping from idea to idea, never finishing things, just always coming up with concepts for games that are somehow way better than what you were working on before, so you switch to working on that instead. And then it happens again and again, and years later, you realize you only have a bunch of half-finished projects on your computer and nothing you can actually show people. Which brings me to the commit phase. The commit phase is all about finishing projects. This is where the game devs are separated from the game plebs. Instead of working to improve your programming or design skills, you work on developing the ability to stick with one project at a time and see it out to completion. You want to start really small, come up with an idea for a game you know you can make in a short time with the skills you have, then set a deadline like a week and just make that game. Then you come up with a slightly more complex idea, set a deadline like two weeks, make that game. Come up with another slightly more complex idea, set a deadline for that, make it, so on, so on. Then out of nowhere you'll realize that you've spent the last two years making a full length game and that you release on Steam and no one buys it. Congratulations, you're now a full-fledged, honest-to-goodness game developer. Time to hit up r slash game dev and bitch about how hard it is to market your games. 